Good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing? Happy Monday. You see, I'm not that excited about it. Can you blame me? I just have to get out of my weekend sleep. Why is the weekend so short, Jesus? Lord. But I only have my son. While I could have, oh, Coco wants to go outside to see. While I could have made the weekend a little bit more lengthy by waking up a little bit more early, um, I didn't do that. Are you ready? You're free to be. It's wet outside. I wasn't trying to let him go out there because uh, he's going to bring back mud in the house because he likes to like pop up on trees to be. I'm sorry, I'm allowing y'all to go to the toilet with my dog. Hello? Hello? Hey! Come on! Come on! He listened. So I need to use the potty. He usually like starts crying so that I can know that he needs to use the bathroom. And so I can make reasonable accommodations to get him there on time. Are, I'll be saying lunchtime snack, but as soon as I get to work, I eat this in my car. So let's make our breakfast snack and sandwich that follows. I haven't lotioned my face yet. If you're sensing a little imperfection, please pardon me. Let's make Alright, so first you gotta get the bread. I like white bread. Please don't argue with me. And then I have a uh, turkey breast and cherry cheese. This is not my first choice. Wow, it is what Auntie bought, so it is what I will use to eat. Okay. Most people put butter on their bread, I guess, to like uh, have everything come into collision and give them the best possible taste a sandwich can offer. But I'm not one of those girls. I'm very, very simple. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to slap the cheese on the bread. One might argue that this is dry bread, but who, like, it don't matter. I'm the one in. So you put it in there like so, like that. And then you take. I don't like, like I said, it's not my first choice, so I'll take the least possible. If you wanna make it look all fancy, you can by having it wrapped with me, I don't really care. So I kinda of just put it like so. And then you slap on the sister piece and that's all. So you uh, repeat the same step for the, for the second sandwich. Uh, three is a little bit too much, but I don't want the heck. So let's just do three. Slap it on like so, like that. And I'm not hungry right now, so I'm definitely gonna have to eat that over there. What I am is thirsty, right? And but I know you guys are gonna judge me if I drink soda this morning because I say that I have no morals, and but I'm gonna drink it when I get to work, which will be nine o'clock. So it's like I drink it now, potato, I think it later, potato, same thing. So, um, like I said, if I drink soda, you're gonna say that um, I have no morals. So I'm gonna drink the black people's medicine. Limited time only, okay? It's not soda. And if you call it soda, you're disrespecting. The last 
Next up, you want to take some Rebels wrap. Looking like a little bit too much, but oh, what the heck. And I don't recycle flour, I just throw it away. So if you want to think about um, conserving and saving, I'm joking, please stop. <laughs> don't believe me. But um, actually, it's not too much for Oh, whatever, the bread's already dry, so we might as well just keep it the rest of the room to do what it has to do, okay? And then I'll take my leftover sweet and salty kettle corn. But I don't like to go to work with things that they sell at work because, like, they're looking kind of fishy, fishy. So, uh, I'm contemplating my eye. I'll just take it. Due to filming anxiety, I decided not to introduce the fact that I was going to visit the post office, but this is the clip of me dropping off orders. So, uh, to my surprise, I didn't know that, like, they don't have a freaking drop box here. The one at my old job had one, but this one doesn't. You actually have to get online to drop off an order. But I got it done and my customers will be expecting their packages in the next two days. So I'm excited about that. My job's literally right across the street. I have arrived. <laughs> Remember how I told you I don't like to bring uh, food that actually is sold at my job? Because it looks a little fishy, fishy. Um, I usually leave it in the car. I'm not doing that today because I actually have a big purse. So we're gonna be taking it on inside and it's medicine. I told you once, I'm not gonna tell you no more. Oh, I could just feel myself getting better already. Don't necessarily do anything, but I do feel like it makes me a better person. <laughs> Not to eat our um, dry bread sandwich. Mm. I find that when you leave out all the extra stuff that y'all put in here, it makes it a hundred percent more healthy. So try it. But yeah, y'all. Today I get off at 5 p.m. and I'm praying that it's the best 5 p.m. Well, the best eight hours of my life. I prophetically declare that today is going to be a really fast day. I'm going to be so buried in my work that when I look up, it's going to be 5 p.m. Amen? Amen. Okay. That's what's going to happen. Because today is Monday, and Monday we usually get truck. So, our Monday routine is basically the same. We work and go home. But what I noticed... If you work an eight hour shift and you make it your duty to go on um, break in the first three hours like you're supposed to, the day drags. However, if you go on break at five, no, no, not five. I mean, if you work 11 to seven, go on break at five. If you work nine to five, like I'm about to, go on break at 3.30. Four days. Five o'clock. Come on. It's a win win. And we only get we only get 30 minutes. So um, my breaks are breaking up into never my break. My whole day is breaking up in incre incremental today. So I'll go inside. At 9 30, that's a milestone. 10 o'clock is a milestone. 10 30 is a milestone. And that's how I do. Hey guys, I'm on break and I thought I was going to be eating something fancy. That's the negative. And I also thought I was going to go on break later. That's the negative. I think my manager's on to me, y'all. Anyways, for lunch, I'll be having the next sandwich. My popcorn. And my juice. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
so refreshing. This color red bull is the bomb.com. If you haven't tried it, I don't know what you're waiting for. I got my little 99 fell out of my. You're supposed to believe this is a flashlight. But yeah. Alright, let me eat my lunch. No, y'all don't want to see this. So I told you guys today was going to be rather short. Um, I got here in no time. I couldn't film on my way home because the roads were actually a lot busier than usual. And so I just got here and decided to let you guys in on the vlog. Did y'all have a good day today too? Yeah? Did you have a good day today? Talk to us. Did, did you have a good day today? He's always acting on camera shy, but he was just playing around with his stuff. Oh, bro, you need to have some respect. You serious? Anyways, um, before I accidentally hurt his skin. But, um, yeah, today was rather short. All I had to do was pack out some stuff. He's getting all cocoa-ish. Coco is going cuckoo. I'm gonna have to put him down so I'm like, sorry, trying to get Coco. You don't love me no more? You don't love me no more? Can you see his face, y'all? Coco needs a haircut again, but it's ninja time, and so we can. So let's just rough him up right now. I'm exposing you. He doesn't like, look, 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 he's trying to bite me. Yeah, look, when he wakes up in the morning, this be his face. <laughs> or like his bear beat, like in a different direction. <laughs> in a different direction. But now he's trying to bite me. Um, Y'all, I can't let this man go to sleep in like two seconds. You wanna see him? Is he getting tired? Not because he's sitting in an awkward position, but it usually works. All right, I'm putting you down now. Bye. See you next time. This is huge. But yeah, you guys, I had a wonderful day. Right now, all I have to do to complete my day is to go take out the trash before it gets darker outside. And um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm hoping to see you tomorrow.